Hey there, fellow Bitcoiners. My name is Drew, and this is Deciphered. A brand new show by Blockstream that's here to show you the best practices of how to use your Bitcoin in an easy to understand way. Today, we're going to be focusing on coin control, what it is, and how to use it, all while using the Blockstream Green Wallet. Let's first start off with what is Green Wallet? Green Wallet is a non-custodial Bitcoin and Liquid wallet. It supports single signature, multi-signature, hardware wallet support, fee control, and coin control. Today, we're just going to be focusing on coin control. Before we get into the nuts and bolts of it, we first need to download Green Wallet. Today, I'm going to be using my Windows PC with Green Wallet pre-installed. But Green Wallet supported on pretty much any device that you may have, including Mac OS, Linux, iOS, Android, and F-Droid. All of the download links will be in the description box down below. So what is coin control? Coin control is selecting which unspent outputs to send. Let's break that down a little bit further and first understand how a Bitcoin transaction works. For this example, let's use Bob and Alice. Let's say that Bob receives 10,000 sats from work. He receives this in one input. Later in the week, he goes to pay Alice 10,000 sats. He does this in one output. This is the simplest form of a Bitcoin transaction. It's known as a one input, one output transaction, as there was only one input to Bob's wallet and one output from Bob's wallet. Now, now what happens if Bob only wants to pay Alice 5,000 sats? Well, Bob receives 10,000 sats from work. He receives this in one input. Later in the week, he goes to pay Alice 5,000 sats. What happens? Well, Bob's wallet sends the whole 10,000 sats and Alice receives 5,000 sats. And then Bob receives 5,000 sats back to his wallet. Hmm. Let's break this down just a tad bit further to understand what's going on behind the scenes. A UTXO is short for unspent transaction output. Every time you send or receive Bitcoin, a UTXO is created. When you send Bitcoin, you send all of the Bitcoin, and in return, a new UTXO is created, receiving the change from the transaction. Similar to how when you go to the grocery store and you pay with cash, you pay with a larger bill, and in return, you receive some change back. Let's go back to Bob and Alice to explain more. In the first example with Bob and Alice, where Bob sent Alice all 10,000 sats, Bob's wallet sent all 10,000 sats in one UTXO to Alice's wallet. Alice's wallet created one new UTXO to receive the 10,000 sats. Bob's wallet behind the scenes deleted one UTXO, which sent the 10,000 sats. Now, what happened in the second scenario where Bob sent Alice only 5,000 sats? Well, Bob's wallet sent the whole 10,000 sat UTXO. Alice received 5,000 sats in one brand new UTXO that her wallet created. Bob received 5,000 sats back in one brand new UTXO that his wallet created. And then Bob's wallet deleted the old 10,000 sat UTXO. So now Bob has one UTXO containing 5,000 sats and Alice has one UTXO containing 5,000 sats. With all of this UTXO creation and deletion, your Blockstream Green Wallet will take care of all of this behind the scenes so you don't have to sweat a thing. Let's do another example. Let's say that Bob buys 10,000 sats from a Bitcoin KYC exchange. He sends these 10,000 sats to his green wallet in one transaction. Later in the week, he's having a birthday party and five of his closest friends are each gonna give him 2,000 sats apiece. Every time they send him 2,000 sats, Bob generates a brand new receive address. So at the end of the weekend, Bob goes to his green wallet to see how many sats he has. He sees he has 20,000 sats and six UTXOs. One UTXO containing 10,000 sats and five UTXOs containing 2,000 sats apiece. Now that we understand how UTXOs work and that every transaction in our wallet is unique and different, we can use our newfound knowledge to better manage our coins. This becomes increasingly important when trying to preserve our privacy. If we go back to the example from earlier with the KYC exchange and five of Bob's friends, five of the six transactions in Bob's wallet are not linked to his name at all. Of the six transactions in Bob's wallet, there is one that is linked to his name and that is the transaction from the KYC exchange. 
If Bob wants to transact with Alice or anyone else in the future with anonymous Bitcoin, he's going to have to pick one or a couple of the UTXOs that his friends sent him. Let's go to our green wallet to see how we do this. Now that we're in our green wallet, we can see some transactions in my wallet. We're just going to focus on the 2000 sats and the 10,000 sat transactions for right now. We'll talk about the other transaction at a later time. So this is a little difficult for me to read in the Bitcoin denomination. So I'm going to change my denomination of Bitcoin into something a little bit more readable. So if you go to that upper right hand corner and you press on that cog type and then go to the show Bitcoin amounts in, click on this drop down. I'm a sats maximalist rather than a bits maximalist, so I'm gonna press sats. Once I click out, I notice that all of my transactions are in sats and my total sum is in sats now too. Great. So from here, I'm gonna start labeling my transactions so that it's easier for me to identify which is which. So I'm gonna click on the transaction and I'm gonna go down to my notes and I'm gonna type in where the transaction or what the transaction is. So for this 2000 sat, I know that Bob's friends are non-KYC, so I'm going to type in non-KYC. And I'm going to continue to do this for all of the transactions that are pertinent to this example. This is the 10,000 sats from the KYC exchange, so I'm going to type in KYC. And I'm just going to keep going down for all of these transactions. Awesome. Now I want to send Alice some non KYC Bitcoin. So what I need to do is I need to go to a transaction and I need to remember the first four digits to a transaction ID. So for this one, it's C146. Great. From there, I'm going to go to the send button. I'm going to input an address. I'm going to go down to the coins. I'm going to click manual coin selection. I'm going to go to select coins and I'm going to go find that transaction ID that I remembered from earlier. C146. Great. Click done. And I'm going to send all. There was 2000 sats. Taking out the fee puts me at 1888.6 sats. Great. I'm feeling generous, so I'm going to send her in a medium speed. I'm going to press review. I'm just going to look over everything and make sure everything sounds good. The fee looks good, the address is right, and the amount is right. I press send and boom, just like that, I did my first coin selection using Green Wallet. It is highly recommended that you label each one of your UTXOs within your wallet every time you receive a Bitcoin transaction to it. Let's say, for whatever reason, later on in life, you absolutely need to coin select. Well, good news for you is that you already labeled your UTXOs so you can properly coin select. Then you don't have to worry or stress trying to figure out where each one of your transactions came from when push comes to shove. But let's say we want to still preserve our privacy, but we are really not wanting to label each one of our UTXOs. Well, we have great news as the Blockstream Green Wallet allows you to create accounts within each wallet. Let's go back to our Green Wallet to see how we do this and what I'm even talking about. Now that we're back in our green wallet, let's make an account. And in order to do that, all you need to do is go to this little plus sign next to accounts, and then read which type of account you wanna to make to, that properly fits your criteria. For this example, I'm simply just gonna press segwit. You name your account, whatever you'd like. I'm gonna name it Hal, but I've already created a couple accounts, so I don't need to create any. But once you do, whatever you type in, press create, and you'll notice that on the left side, you'll have a new account. This is named Hal, and then, boom, there you go. You made a new account. So why would you make an account? Well, let's say you're a small business owner and you want a new account for each one of your clients. You don't wanna label each one of your transactions. You simply just wanna to go to the account that is properly corresponded to that client. You go in there, you press receive, and bam, you now have essentially coin selected where your coins are received to which account. You can do this for accounting purposes, for grocery bills, for KYC and non-KYC Bitcoin. Again, it's whatever you want, you can make an account for. And you can make a ton of accounts, let me tell you. So have at it and let us know how it goes.
Another fantastic feature of the Green Wallet is that the Green Wallet automatically identifies possible dust attacks. A dust attack is when you receive an unexpected transaction to your wallet. The transaction contains around 1,000 sats, maybe a little bit less. Now, before we jump up and down exclaiming that we got some free Bitcoin, we have to understand that there is no such thing as a free lunch, and that absolutely applies to this situation too. Now, most dust attacks are just related to spam, so that's kind of annoying, but it's a thing. But there are some nefarious actors in the space that are actually trying to just chip away at your privacy, and that's a very scary thing to have happen. A great thing that the Green Wallet allows you to do is it allows you to lock UTXOs up. Now, the reason the Green Wallet allows you to do this is that if you do get dust attacked, that you can lock these transactions or UTXOs up so that you don't accidentally spend that UTXO with your uncompromised UTXOs. Let's go to the Green Wallet to see what I'm talking about. Now that we're back to our Green Wallet, let's identify what a possible dust attack is. And that is located in two different locations depending on what kind of wallet we have set up, whether it's a single SIG or a multi-SIG setup. Let's first start off with a single SIG wallet. And in order to locate a possible dust attack, we're gonna to wanna to go to the upper right hand corner and select send. From there, we're gonna to wanna to go to coins, manual coin selection, and select coins. You'll notice that there's some tabs at the top. We're just gonna to wanna to go to dust, and you'll notice that the 600 sat transaction is automatically labeled as a possible dust attack. If we go back to the all tab, you'll notice that the same 600 sat transaction is labeled dust within here too. So when we wanna send a transaction, we simply just wanna click around that compromised UTXOs so we don't accidentally send the compromised UTXO with our uncompromised UTXOs. Great. That was single SIG. And now for a multi-SIG setup, you're gonna to wanna to go to your multi-SIG wallet and you're gonna to wanna to go to coins. You'll notice that there is, again, tabs at the top that appear and you're gonna to wanna to go to dust. Nothing changed as I only have one transaction in this wallet, but with all of your transactions, it will file down. But again, the green wallet automatically located and notified me that this 600 sat transaction is a possible dust attack. A great feature that the Green Wallet allows you to do, it is allows you to lock this transaction or really any transaction up. So if you go down here and you press lock, a new window will appear, you press next, and then you're just gonna follow the two-factor authenticator that you use to set up your multi-sig wallet. Follow the instructions and you will have locked that transaction up. Now, let's say you lock that transaction up and you didn't mean to, or you locked it up and you meant it, but now you wanna unlock it. It's super easy to unlock a transaction. All you need to do is simply click on the UTXO that you locked, press unlock, and you're just gonna follow the same steps that you did to lock the transaction. So with that, let's talk about one more fantastic feature that the Green Wallet offers. Green will never combine UTXOs across accounts. If you go and send some sats from one account and there's not enough funds, Green Wallet will automatically fail the transaction and nothing will go through. This is to ensure that your Bitcoin stays secure and separate. And so with that, today we talked about coin control using the Blockstream Green Wallet. We hope you enjoyed the show as there's a whole team behind the scenes that made this whole thing possible. So please leave a message down in the comment section down below on what you want to see next. We're an open book. And remember, until next time, stack some sats, and as always, don't trust, verify.